Hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are you? And how are you? Anyway, let me show you the product. Subscribe, like, and share. Ooh, is it coming in? That is the product and this is a little monkey eating crisps. They're meant to be dangerous these monkeys apparently but it wasn't, it wasn't there. It was a bit uh, intimidating compared to the other monkeys but still um, it's meant to be dangerous. Anyway this is the monkey eating the crisps. Okay. <laughs> Hello, 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 how are you, how are you? You're probably wondering to yourself if this is a bit my tongue there, if this is released during fasting. Why isn't it fasting? Well, it's dark anyway, so I wouldn't be fasting at this time of day. Why isn't this lad fasting? Say for instance, if you ask that question, be a silly question, but if you ask, why is, why is any fasting? Someone, and why is he wearing a woolly hat, if the weather's nice that is? While I recorded this, I knew, inshallah, God willing, I'd be fasting, you know. Um, so, because I'm fasting, I uh, pre-recorded them. Not just a pretty face, not just a pretty face. Anyway, this is it. So, uh, Bella Cormie, the brand. Bella Cormie. Is that how you pronounce it? I think that's how you pronounce it. Bella Cormie. And uh, Raw, Rawly North. So I presume they're chocolate, chocolate uh, rolls. That's what I presume they are. I may be wrong, but I presume they're chocolate rolls. Now, bit of a dilemma, bit of a situation here. I presume they're not vegetarian, no vegan, because there's cream chocolate in it. Bit of a dilemma for you, and you've got to do your own research here. I was um, doing a bit of research and I found two different sources. One that said it's not kosher or halal. And then I went another one directly under it, halal life it was, saying it was halal. So now you've got to go forward, go forth with this. And decide for yourself, do your own research. So I took that little bit of a step further. What, what would make it not halal? So dairy is not a problem for me. It is kind of, but it's not a problem as far as you know. Um, having summer, it's not a problem. Alcohol may be a problem. So I had a bit of a read through the list of ingredients. Took that time and effort. Not so much for this video, but for myself. Because um, I like to play it safe, you see. I like to play it safe, in a sense. You know, try my best anyway. In general. I try my best. So uh, what I did was, uh, I looked to the recipe and it didn't seem to contain any alcohol in it. So I felt it may be fine, it may be fine. And you know what, bizarrely enough, it's got a lot of uh, Arab writing on it. So what I presume, therefore, it, it supplies these, these to the Islamic world in a sense. Not these are um, sold in the Islamic world. 
So if that's true, we're going forward, it's all in the Islamic world. I feel they probably take the initiative to uh, make it, make it, make it halal, consumable. Because that's a big market they'd lose there if it wasn't. And it'd pl play a massive effect on the rest of their products. So they'd lose a massive, massive market, not just with this specific item, but with the rest of their items as well. So with that, with that in thought, no. A lot goes into buying these, and I just don't buy them. A lot goes into thinking about buying them and then buying them. So what do you get for these? You get six. I presume you get six because it's got six on it. Um, I can't read the rest of it because all, all in um, Italian, and I can't. I can read Italian, but I can't understand Italian. Um, I used to be able to a very long time ago, but. You know, you've got to do it on a regular basis for it to uh, mean something. So, six of them you get. Rolls. Chocolate rolls. I presume the chocolate rolls. Let's give it a go. Uh, let's pop it all. So, they come in a, come in a uh, box. Individually wrapped. Yeah. Can we see it? Can we see it? Inshallah, we will see it. There we are. That's how they come. Individually wrapped. Quite a decent size, you know. Oh, I bought these from a pound shop. But you know what? They were 125. So not quite a pound. But then I went up when I was searching, searching on the internet. The same shop it said there. Yeah, a pound so a bit of a twist there a bit of a lie maybe the prices have gotten up one or the other I know it's only 20 something pence five pence but you know what it is it's the principle of the thing it's not the money it's the principle of the thing that's what it is Wade's looking a bit Beard's looking a bit Beard's looking a bit crazy, isn't it? Need to sort that out. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's pop it open. So, as soon as I pop it open, I get that burst of scent of cocoa. But it looks, smells like chemical cocoa. It doesn't actually smell like... It smells like artificial cocoa. It doesn't actually smell like... What cocoa? I'm used to that smell I'm used to that thing I'm used to yeah so it's a bit chemically the smell let's open it so it's a roll it's got a bit of a swirl on the top there chocolate on the outside you can tell And uh, let's, let's get into this. Nice, balanced, thick layer of thick layer of chocolate on top, and it's a nice chocolate. It's not Americanized. It's sweet. It's milky chocolate. Bite and pass out. Very spon spongy. Tastes really, really good. Spongy, full of cocoa, uh, full of taste, full of flavour. And as soon as you get through that bang, it hits you the cream. The cream chocolate, you know, the um, milk chocolate hits you bang, and sp spreads throughout. So you got those three layers of subtle chocolate coming through, which is nice and what you're used to. But then bang, it's sort of like 
in the release of release of flavour all over. Yeah, quite lovely that. Quite lovely. And it tastes the aftertaste. It stays there for a while. Not too long, but it does stay there for a while. So therefore you've got that flavour still coming through, still making an impression, still staying around for a little while. Um, you know. So that's quite good. You know, you've not just got, got it coming in and then disappearing all of a sudden. You've got it there settling. You've got it there, you know, still about like the last bite by that suck. That flavour's still there. So, you know, it's there 30 seconds still. Not as obviously not as heavy and as the impact you get straight away, but it is still there, still exists. How would you do with a cup of tea? I wouldn't go with the daisy tea with this. Instead, maybe I would slightly, but an English tea, it would be epic. I'm gonna give this high score. It's around that margin of a seven and a half, maybe eight. With a cup of tea, it'll be hitting the nines. So, do make yourself a cup of tea with this. It'd be absolutely epic. Epic, it'd be lovely, lovely. And I think they've done well. They've done well for themselves. What they should be doing there now, if they're watching this video, unlikely, but if they're watching this video, is give themselves a pat on the back. Good boy, good lads, or ladies, whoever made it, good on you. Not done bad for yourself. Italians. They make a Ferrari, they make a Lamborghini, make a lovely cake, you know, that's what it is, that's what it's all about, the flavours, experiences, the tastes, yeah, I could imagine sitting there in my Lamborghini eating one of these, or in my Ferrari eating with this, you know, or back in the day, you're mooching about with uh, Mr Ferrari himself, and uh, having one of these, Along comes Lamborghini, asking him, asking us, can you make a car for us? Can you make a car for us? Mr. Ferrari saying, no, no. So then him going off, making his own rival company. But yeah, there we are. That's it. Do subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo for now. Bye. See you later.